This country is Jamaica, and possibly that in the future, this nation will become extremely rich. But for that, we need to discover the biggest mega projects that are being built and see how they will completely change the country. The country's story is complex and varied, revolving around invasion, colonization, rebellion, and finally independence. Long before the European explorers arrived on this island, the indigenous population of Jamaica called Arawaks was already established in this area. During his second voyage to the New World, Christopher Columbus landed on the island for the first time in 1494. The first European settlement was quickly founded by the Spanish, but the hard living conditions were felt very strongly. Jamaica became a Spanish colony and remained so until 1655, when the British were able to take control of the island. Thousands of African slaves were transported to Jamaica during the British colonial era to work on sugar plantations and others, making the island an important center for the transatlantic slave trade. The history of the island was permanently changed by the slavery system, which automatically influenced the economy. Afro-Jamaican culture began to take shape in the 19th century, when religious groups such as Rastafarianism and the revivalist tradition flourished. Jamaica began the transition to self-government in the 1900s. Political parties began to form, and in 1962, Jamaica gained independence from the United Kingdom, with Alexander Bustamante as prime minister. Now let's see the top 10 biggest projects that will be done in Jamaica in the coming period. Southern Coastal Highway Improvement Program is an 11.5 billion three-phase plan to renovate the 165-kilometer section of roadway between May Penn and Port Antonio in order to make it safe and efficient, free from flooding. In the first two phases, we'll made the construction of a new four-lane thoroughfare alongside the extension and revitalization of the current road linking Yalis and Port Antonio. Starting in 2024, the third phase will deliver a new four-lane highway to connect Port Antonio and Moreland Bay. The project is scheduled to be completed in 2027. Upon completion, the newly developed road will optimize traffic flow, reduce travel time, and provide travelers with a safer and more efficient route. The Jamaica Railway Rehabilitation Project is an impressive $500 million initiative dedicated to rebuild the country's rail infrastructure. This project includes the repair of railways, bridges and stations, along with the purchase of new rolling stock to increase operational efficiency. Expected to generate over 1,000 job opportunities, the project will make a significant contribution to improving rural transportation. The Jamaica Railway, once an integral part of the country's transportation network, fell into disrepair. This rehabilitation project aims to restore it to its former glory and provide a more reliable mode of transport. Beyond its transportation benefits, the initiative is poised to have a positive impact on tourism in Jamaica by improving access to some of the country's most attractive sites. The new National Stadium Project is a $200 million mega project aimed at building a modern national stadium in Kingston. With a capacity of up to 40,000 peoples, the new stadium is designed to host a variety of athletic activities including football, cricket, and more. Expected to generate over 1,000 job opportunities, the project is set to significantly benefit Kingston's economy. The existing national stadium requires extensive renovations. It is expected to become a major tourist attraction as it will be the only stadium in Jamaica capable of hosting major events, further contributing to the country's appeal as a sports and entertainment destination. Jamaica Cyber City is a $500 million project to build a new cyber city in Kingston. This state-of-the-art initiative positions Jamaica Cyber City as a central hub for IT and telecommunication companies with the potential to generate thousands of employment opportunities. Located in the heart of Kingston, Cyber City is planned to be a state-of-the-art facility equipped with all the necessary infrastructure to support telecommunications and business. This includes provisions for high-speed internet, reliable power, and robust security measures. Considered a global attraction, Cyber Metropolis is expected to attract companies from all over the world, contributing significantly to Kingston's economic landscape and creating a wealth of employment opportunities. The North Coast Highway Improvement Project is a $5.5 billion initiative to rehabilitate 100 kilometers of road between Ocho Rios and Port Maria. The project includes the construction of a new four-lane road between Ocho Rios and Inada Bay, along with the extension and repair of the current route between Inada Bay and Port Maria. Scheduled for completion in 2025, the project aims to improve traffic flow, reduce travel time, and provide travelers with a safer and more efficient route. 
In addition, it is anticipated that it will stimulate economic activity in parishes on the north coast of Jamaica. The Jamaica Logistics Hub is a significant $1 billion project that facilitates the construction of a new logistics center in Kingston. Positioned as a crucial distribution point for products and services, the Logistics Hub is poised to revitalize the local economy. Strategically located near the Port of Kingston, the hub will include comprehensive infrastructure including a warehouse complex, a distribution facility, and a cargo terminal. With the aim of generating thousands of employment opportunities, the multifaceted capabilities of the logistics hub are expected to increase efficiency in the movement of goods and contribute substantially to the economic development and competitiveness of the region. The New Kingston Bus Terminal is a $100 million project that will build a new bus terminal in New Kingston. The future terminal is designed to accommodate up to 500 buses, representing a crucial upgrade to Kingston's public transport infrastructure. Expected to be completed soon, the new terminal will enhance the convenience of public transportation in Kingston. In addition, it is anticipated to play a vital role in reducing traffic congestion in the city, contributing to a more efficient and effective transport system. The Montego Bay Cruise Terminal expansion is a $200 million project that will increase the capacity of the Montego Bay Cruise Terminal to accommodate larger cruise ships. This initiative includes the construction of a new pier terminal facility and parking garage. Scheduled for completion in 2024, the expanded terminal will have the capacity to handle up to 3,000 passengers per day. This significant improvement will not only improve the terminal's efficiency, but also increase the total number of cruise ships that can dock in Montego Bay. As a result, this expansion is expected to boost the local economy. The Montego Bay Convention Center expansion is a $150 million project that will expand the Montego Bay Convention Center. This expansion includes the construction of a new ballroom, exhibition hall, and parking garage to improve its facilities. Anticipated to generate approximately 500 employment opportunities, the project will contribute substantially to the growth of Montego Bay's tourism economy. The additional infrastructure will not only improve the capacity of the center, but also increase its appeal for international events. This strategic improvement is expected to have a positive impact on tourism, encouraging the creation of new employment opportunities and attracting investment to the city. The Ocho Rios Undersea Cable Project is a significant $100 million initiative focused on constructing an underwater cable between Ocho Rios and Miami. This cable infrastructure is poised to bring high-speed internet to the vacation town of Ocho Rios, thereby catalyzing economic growth within the local community. This groundbreaking underwater connection represents the first of its kind in Jamaica, providing a substantial enhancement to the island's internet infrastructure. Beyond facilitating improved connectivity, the project is expected to assist Ocho Rios in attracting new businesses and creating additional employment opportunities. The introduction of high-speed internet is poised to play a pivotal role in the development and competitiveness of Ocho Rios on both the national and international fronts. In recent years, Jamaica has started many projects with the aim of exponentially increasing the standard of living, and at the same time, the economy. Do you think that all these projects presented in the video will be completed, and the country will rise economically? Tell us what you think in the comments, and don't forget to subscribe.